In this video, we will demonstrate how to protect your customer's endpoints from zero-day vulnerabilities. For this specific example, we will look at receiving an email with an attached PDF infected by malware and demonstrate our real-time protection against a potential phishing scam with a PDF attachment. So let's go over to my test email account. You will see that I received an email telling me about some suspicious activity on an account at a company I do business with and that I need to review the details of the case and my billing agreement in the attached PDF. As you can see on the screen, I have an email with a PDF attachment. I have logged into a webmail test email account specifically for this video. Note that the file name starts with 6061 and as I click on the PDF to read it, I can hit download and it looks like it downloaded. So let's just see what happened. I'm going to close this. If I go to Explorer on this particular machine and I went to Downloads, you will notice that it did try to download this, but look at the file size, it's zero kilobytes. Let's go back to the console and see if there's any alerts. You will see an alert. I can click here on my widget dashboard or I can go to alerts. And you will see that the SHA-256 hash is the same as the file name for this example, 6061 it started with. The file name could have been any file name such as billingagreement.pdf, but wanted to demonstrate the alert is based on the same as the file name for the PDF. Additionally, you will see that I have this sent to the quarantine area by going to anti-malware protection and then under quarantine. From here, I can delete the file. By default, I have this set up that this file will be automatically removed from the quarantine area in 30 days, but you can have this set to any other option. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from my system. And now that I do not have the file anymore, I'm going to go ahead and clear out this alert. Thanks for watching.